Hypocrisy's the best policy. Wish for change, but lazily. Century of debilitation. Your evolution is a damnation. You know, one of the things I enjoy the most about hosting this podcast is when I get to sit down with players, coaches, parents, and fans to talk pucks. This evening, I chatted with Chase Goldman, senior forward for the John Jay Cross River Indians, and Jack Guerra, senior forward for the North Rockland Red Raiders. Uh, Both the Indians and the Red Raiders are poised to head up to the New York State Final Four Championship Tournament. Uh, this weekend in Buffalo at the Harbor Center. I will be up there uh, providing uh, player interviews, coach interviews, live in-game updates, and uh, short video clips. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as I chat with Chase Goldman and Jack Guerra. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Trav, a.k.a. 5-Minute Major, and I'm pleased to be joined by Jack Guerra. Jack is a senior forward for the North Rockland Red Raiders. He just came from a team dinner, and he's taken a few minutes out to chat with me. Jack, thank you so much for coming on. How's it going? Good, Trav. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. And I'm looking forward to seeing you and all the North Rockland faithful up there in Buffalo this weekend. Um, Can you describe the team's mindset heading into the state Final Four? You know, What are you thinking? What's the team thinking? Um, we're just we're just thinking that uh, the team the team that wants it most and uh, the team that works hardest for it is going to come out on top and we're going to do whatever it takes to be that team. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. You know, I had Chase Goldman from John Jay on earlier, and you know, based on what I've seen, based on who I've talked to, you know, I think Section One is is sending up probably two of the deepest teams um, in the Final Four. So, you know, you know, anything can happen and that's why we play the games. But when I look at what you guys have been able to do over the past, you know, four years that I've really been watching you guys, I mean, you guys are physical, you guys are skilled, you guys are very well coached, um, you're a close knit group, um, and you're deep. Uh, if you look in the dictionary under the definition of depth, North Rockland's going to be there. I mean, you know, you have three goals in the playoffs already, if I'm not mistaken, Jack. I mean, they're getting contributions from every line, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, what's your favorite thing about playing high school hockey? Um, I'm, I'm going to have to say the, <clears throat> definitely the atmosphere and just, and just being surrounded by our families and uh, locals and our friends. It's just, it's just unreal and it's unmatchable. I mean, that's one of the things, that's a great answer. That's one of the things I love about high school hockey, you know, a packed barn on a Friday night or a Saturday, especially if it's like North Rockland and Suffern mixing it up. And I, I don't have to tell you cause you were on the ice. You were there when it happened. I th- literally thought the rink was going to collapse after you guys knocked off Suffren in the section finals. I mean, there was just such a sense of relief, excitement, joy. I mean, I asked Coach Dworkowicz to try to describe for me what this win means for the community. And, you know, he gave it his best shot, but I still don't think he was able to capture it because it's almost something you can't describe. So, Jack, who would you say is the best-dressed player on the team? Uh, I'm going to have to say Matt Postolippo. No one can match that kid's uh, Vineyard Vines game. I love it. You know, there's a super strong connection between hockey players and Vineyard Vines, lacrosse players and Vineyard Vines. I definitely have to get me some of that gear since I spend so much time at the rink. Um, who uh, who has the best flow on the Red Raiders, Jack? Uh, you're talking with him, Trav. I was going to say, I like the flow in that picture of you, especially with the medal and the T-shirt. So stick taps out to you, Jack, for having the best flow. Hey, what are your thoughts on the season so far? I mean, obviously, I think the best is yet to come. But when you look back at the games that you've played to date, is there a memory or a moment that jumps out for you? Um, the one thing I'm going to say about the season so far is uh, 
I'm glad that we experienced the bumps in the road uh, at the start of it, and now we're ready for anything and everything. So I really, I really think that and believe that. And uh, my favorite memory is uh, after we won the section. Um, the morning after, I went to a local deli and I was wearing my varsity jacket, and I walked in and immediately people stopped what they were doing and I got handshakes and hugs from people that I've never met before. And it was just, it was just, I, I couldn't explain the feeling that I was feeling. It, it was just, I was speechless and it was just incredible. I mean, as you're telling me that Jack, I'm getting the chills because that's exactly why we play high school sports. We play high school sports to represent our, our schools, our towns, our communities. And again, you know, whether it's football, whether it's lacrosse, whether it's hockey, I mean, people will come out for games like this. So you have, you and the rest of your teammates have a chance to represent the 845, you know, Rockland County, North Rockland, Section 1. I mean, there's so many people that are going to be watching this game. Um, so I'm not surprised that that was the kind of reception that you received because this, this, this team is, is, you know, on a historic run. And uh, like I said, you're 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 arguably, in my opinion, the deepest squad that's going to be up there at the Final Four. Um, what's one thing that you want people to know about your team, Jack? Um, just that we have a really strong strong bond, and uh, we've been playing together since we were mites, and it's just we're uh, we're our family. There's no other way to describe it. Um, I, these guys have been my long. Uh, lifelong friends and i just consider them my brothers and it's just it's been a hell, hell of a ride with them you know it's interesting i i ran into chris hilliard's grandfather and he was telling me about how all of you guys started playing when you were younger through the west haverstraw roller league and that's how a lot of you guys got introduced to the sport and skating and ever since then you guys have been playing together so i think you know you guys have come a real long way, but I can see how close knit you were. You know, when you won the championship, the way you were congratulating each other. I mean, you were just, you know, again, I think family is the perfect way to describe your team. Um, what's one thing now? Listen, Jack, going over to going up to Buffalo is not like taking a bus right over to Hommocks. You know, you're going to be on that bus for a while. What's one thing you need to bring on the trip on that bus to Buffalo with you? Um, well, we just recently got informed that there's really good Wi-Fi on the bus we're taking up. So uh, me and a bunch of other uh, guys on the team, we're going to bring our laptops and uh, controllers and play a little Fortnite on the way up. Yeah, you know, I was in my office today, and one of my students was talking to me about Fortnite, and I sat with him, and then he showed me a video. I mean, I don't know what it is about this game, but it seems like, you know, I'm in the wrong business. Everybody that I know, whether it's high school kids, elementary, middle school, they're all playing this Fortnite. What is it about that game that you like so much? Um, basically, uh, I'm not really a big video game guy, but when that game came out, it uh, I, I really used to be, like, when I was in middle school. Right. And we would get, like, we'd get home from school, we'd do our homework, some of us, but... <laughs> We, we would get home and we'd do our homework and then we'd go straight on to like Xbox or PS, like PlayStation, and we would go on and we'd play these games and like, it was just like, we were doing stuff together and it was just, it was just great. And I really think this game has like reconnected that like middle school, like, like friendships and it just really like brought us all together again, I guess. You, you know, no, it kind of makes sense to me. I mean, you're a senior now. Um, unfortunately this is your final year of, you know, high school hockey with North Rockland. So it almost makes sense that you want to kind of go back in time to like a simpler point in your life when you were younger, playing video games with your buddy, you know, skating, you know, but, but so again, safe travels up to Buffalo, enjoy every second of it on that ride. I'm going to be up there, of course, hopefully in time for the pre-tournament dinner, depending on what time my flight gets in. Hopefully it gets off on time. A um, couple more questions for you, Jack, and then I'll let you go because you've had a long day. Do you have a favorite sport to play besides hockey? Um, well, I also play football and lacrosse for uh, North Rockland, and I've uh, – there's – there's they all – they're pretty equal, but I – 
mostly when I'm playing the, like that sport, it's like uh, there's there's no way to like you can't really compare them. They're right. But um, it's going to be really hard to say goodbye to uh, to hockey and football. I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, continuing my l- lacrosse career up at uh, the College of St. Rose. I committed. Oh, nice, team. excellent. Yeah. That's congratulations, Jack. That's great. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, I actually went to SUNY Albany, so I'm familiar with St. Rose. And actually, um, one of my neighbors um, went to St. Rose as well. So best of luck with you on that. I'm definitely going to have to get you back on the podcast next year for that Where Are They Now segment that I started. Um, two, two more questions for you, Jack. Favorite professional hockey player, past or present? Um, Evgeny Malkin. I, uh, he's my idol, and I... Um... And he's just, uh, he's a big guy that can get the job done. I, I was going to say, I see a lot of similarities between you and him. Uh, you're both big physical players. You both have some skill. You both have a little bit of snarl to your game. So, you know, I definitely could see why Evgeny Malkin is your favorite player because I see a lot of his tendencies and habits in, in your game. So last question, and I'm going to kind of go out on a limb here. I'm going to assume that since Evgeny Malkin is your favorite professional hockey player, that the Pittsburgh Penguins are your favorite professional hockey team. Yeah, you got it. Um, I've been a fan since 2010 after watching Evgeny in the 2010 Olympics. All right. You know, Jack, we were going along so well up until that point. But in all seriousness, uh, you know, I always say, you know, you like who you like, you root for you, who, who you root for. I mean, there's no shame in rooting for the Penguins. I mean, they've won multiple cups. You know, they who knows, they could win, you know, another. They could be a three-peat this year, the way things are going. So... Um, again, but the focus certainly is going to be on states this weekend. I've uh, been talking with Jack Guerra, senior forward uh, for the North Rockland Red Raiders. He's taken a few minutes out of his uh, day to speak with me, and I really do appreciate it. Jack, thanks again. Um, I look forward to seeing you up in Buffalo, and uh, safe travels up. Thank you. Looking forward to it, too. Uh, it's my, been my pleasure, and um, you're listening to the HV Pucks podcast, and we'll be right back after this. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Uh, hello there. Uh, this is uh, Happy Gilmore, and uh, you're listening to the HV Pucks podcast, available for free download on Google Play, iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Now back to the show. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Trav, a.k.a. 5-Minute Major, and I'm pleased to be joined by Chase Goldman, senior forward for the John J. Cross River Indians and an integral component of the Green Line. And I saw him in action up in Queensbury at the regional game, and my man had a goal and an assist in a 6-2 thrashing of the Spartans, and now he's poised to head up to Buffalo for the New York State Final Four Championship Tournament. Chase, thank you so much for taking the time out to uh, chat with me. How's it going? Of course. I'm doing well. How are you? Um, Well, I'm doing better now that I got my car at the repair shop and I'm home. Uh, You already know the backstory, but I'm not going to bore all the listeners with that. I had a little bit of car trouble earlier tonight. So, Chase, can you describe the team's mindset heading into the State Final Four? Yeah, of course. Um, I think we're all just incredibly proud of our accomplishments so far this season, but um, Coach has been harping on the fact that we are definitely not finished yet. Um, You know, if we're coming this far, we might as well get it all while we have it. So Coach has been harping on, we're doing good so far, but um, no one really cares anymore. we got to keep going forward, and then people will start to care. So um, I think that's sort of contributing to our mindset of just putting everything on the line, um, one game at a time, and then we're trying to secure that spot in the championship game. I think that's actually a great mindset, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I know uh, Coach probably made a point to show you video from the 2013 you know, year when they went up to states and, and lost in the final. So hopefully you know, that's something of that... Of course, that's you, his famous video. Right, right. I mean, so again, um, you guys are moving in the right direction. I actually picked you to win the section and to make some noise in the regional games and everything else. So I'm honestly not surprised that you guys are where you are. You are skilled, you're physical, 
you're well coached. So again, and you're you've got a lot of depth. So again, um, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, I drove up to Glens Falls. I watched you guys dismantle Queensberry. Um, of course. And uh, and I'm looking forward to traveling up to Buffalo and seeing you guys in action up there. Hey Chase, what's your favorite thing about playing high school hockey? Um, I don't know. That's tough. I always tell my friends that high, uh, hockey in high school has got to be the best sport in high school, and I think it's partly due to playoffs because um, they just create this atmosphere that is something that we really do remember forever. Um, because there's no better feeling in the world. So I guess. My favorite thing would be during playoffs, and um, I'm sure you've seen it before, but we have the tradition of jumping into the glass after yeah, scoring a goal. Absolutely. So, of course, doing that definitely adds to it. Uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I've covered a ton of hockey, and I think high school hockey, I mean, again, it the, the pace, the physicality, the atmosphere, yep. you know, being in a packed barn on a Friday night or on a Saturday, exactly. you know, I mean, there's nothing like it, especially when there's a rivalry. Like, you know, I did that pink the rink game between you and Byron, you know, so that was a yeah. charged atmosphere. The semifinal game between you and Byron, again, the, the teams came out, the fans came out. So again, that, that's what I like about it. It's fast paced, hard hitting, exactly. skilled, and it's just an electric atmosphere. Um, who is the best dressed player on your squad? And you can nominate yourself if you want. <laughs> no, I'm not going to nominate myself, but um, our goalie or one of our goalies, Taylor Isom, is definitely interested in the fashion industry. Nice. Um, loves to wear a shirt and tie to school on game day. I think it's partly so he can show off because he's always dressed to impress. Nice, and he's impressing in the crease as well. Um, of course. Who has the best flow on the team? <laughs> goes to Alex Stark because he actually um, got himself into a little bit of a mullet situation for nice. playoffs. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Whether it's a playoff beard, whether it's a mullet. I know members of the Niagara exactly. Wheatfield team dyed their hair blonde. There's a bunch <laughs> of blonde kids skating around, which is interesting. Yep. You know, So whatever is going to get the team hyped up. Um, exactly. Do you have an embarrassing on-ice moment that you can share with us? I do. Um, This was actually not during a game, but during tryouts at the Danbury Ice Arena freshman year. um, It was my first time playing in front of coach, and the Zamboni had just gotten off the ice, and they left behind a ton of water, so the ice was completely drenched. And it was the first day of tryouts, and I did not have a guaranteed spot spot on the team yet at all. Um, Definitely on the line freshman year. So I decided that it would be a good idea to dive face first across the ice and pretend to swim in the excess water. Oh, that's great. And uh, coach stopped me and looked right at, right at me and asked what the heck I was doing. So <laughs> I still remember that and also got to give credit, coach, for still allowing me to come on the team. You know what, but though, that's what playing high school sports is all about, making those memories. So you and the boys, you know, 10 years from now at your reunion, 20 years from now at your reunion, can share those laughs and share those stories. So I think it's great. Exactly. Um, what are your thoughts on the season so far? I like what you said before, what Coach is saying, that, you know, the best is yet to come. You know, we're not finished yet. But, you know, uh, thoughts on the season so far, Chase? Um, I think that... Quite honestly, we got off to a pretty rough start. Mm -hmm. Um, We lost our first few games. Things were just not really working out for us. Um, Didn't really have much puck luck. And then, but after that, it's sort of been filled with ups and downs. So there have been games where we looked like we were one of the worst teams in the state, but also games where we looked like the best. So um, it's sort of been our goal all year to find the balance of those two and create, you know, like a happy medium between the two. You know, based on what I've seen, though, you're getting hot at the right time. Um, exactly. I think you guys are completely healthy, and I'm certainly not asking you to tip your hat if there are any injuries. But, you know, again, <laughs> you're winning at the right time. You're coming together as a unit. You're playing well. It looks like you're in good health as far as everybody. And you're getting contributions exactly. from, you know, not just your top line. You know, obviously we talk exactly. about the green line. There's the third line. Taylor sharp in the net. So, again, everything seems yep. to be coming together. Um, what's one thing you want people to know about your team? Um, I think the most important thing that people should know about our team is Alex Stark, who, uh, Mullet Man, 
before every playoff game, he brings in a wooden plank with the other team's name written across us, and um, he likes to dance around the locker room right before the games and get us hyped up by snapping it over his head. <laughs> so I think that has also contributed greatly to our success thus I'm, far in the playoffs. Uh, again, talk about memories, talk about you know moments, that locker room um, atmosphere. Exactly. You know, again, whatever's yep. going to get the boys pumped up to go out and catch that W, I think it's great. Um, what's yep. one thing you need to bring with you on the bus to Buffalo? That's going to be a little bit of a ride up there, my friend. This is not that heading is over to Sp- yeah, it's not there, heading over to Sportorama on a Saturday afternoon. I mean, we're going, we're going <laughs> exactly. up, that's we're going up. It's definitely going to be an interesting bus ride. Um, don't really know what to do on a bus for that long, but I think the most important thing that we can bring us is. Uh, bring with us is a wooden plank with West Seneca West written across it. Absolutely, I absolutely. I'm I'm hoping to see shards of a wooden plank in the uh, in your locker room up there at the Harbor. Oh Center. yeah, we like to hang it up too after he breaks it. It's perfect. I love it. Um, favorite sport to play besides hockey, if you have one. I do. I play lacrosse actually, and enjoy that too. There's a strong lacrosse hockey connection. I noticed there um, is. Yeah. It's a similar sport. Definitely a thing. Next to hockey, I think lacrosse is my favorite sport to watch. Um, I don't get to watch as much of it as I'd like to. And I don't have a lot of regrets in life, but one of my biggest regrets is not playing lacrosse in high school. I played from second grade through eighth grade. Yeah, I played from second grade through eighth grade defense. And I don't know if you ever saw that movie American Pie, but I was like Chris Klein's (laughs) character. You know, I had to choose between being in like the musicals and the chorus versus being on the team. I don't think I'd be able to do both well. So I chose kind of the theater route, which kind of makes sense in terms of what I'm doing now. But uh, I do, you know, regret the fact that I didn't uh, get out there and and do some things uh, in high school, you know, as far as sports goes. So two more questions for you, Chase, before I let you go. Favorite professional hockey player, past or present? Um, I think my favorite player really haven't been following hockey that much this season. I've been super busy, but I have to say my favorite player at the moment is um, Vinny Letary on the New York Rangers. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, my cousin Vinny, he's got a shoot-first attitude, which is what I like about yep. him. You know, he's been um, awesome. the Rangers, for as long as I can remember, have just been too, yeah. pa- too pass-happy. Um, always looking I for agree. that pretty goal. You know, just fire the puck at will. It might bounce off a skate. It might, you know, hit off the referee or you never know. So, you know, mm-hmm. I like that. I like the fact that we move some of these, you know, big contract guys out and we're bringing in the kids. You know, we're three yeah, points out of a playoff spot now, so we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. and it's a very deep draft class coming up, as you might know, and we've got a couple yeah. of first round picks. So I'm happy that I'm happy with the direction that we're going. Um, so if Vinny Letary is your favorite player, is it safe to assume that the Rangers are your favorite professional team? That is a safe assumption. Okay, very good. All right, then we can still yep. be, we can still be friends. I like the Rangers, <laughs> and um, I actually took my wife after driving up to Glens Falls, watching yeah. your game, and then driving to Bethlehem, which is technically on the way home, and watching the yeah. scene of Bethlehem, and not getting home till one in the morning. Uh, I took my wife to Rock to watch Vegas and the Devils mix it up on Sunday. Ooh. My second favorite team is the Vegas Golden Knights, and I sat okay. five I, rows from the glass and got to see Marc-Andre Fleury stand tall. And that's incredible. It was a 3-2 to two win, so I walked out of there with a big smile on my face. I'm sure. Um, all the Devil fans were not happy. So, <laughs> Listen, safe travels to Buffalo. I am right. flying so if all goes well, I will land about an hour before the pre-tournament dinner at the Key Bank Center. I've been chatting with Chase Goldman, senior forward for the John Jay Cross River Indians. He's an integral component of the Green Line. He's made some big contributions in the postseason in particular, and he's been kind enough to spend a uh, few minutes with me here on the podcast. So, Chase, thank you again. Uh, enjoy your snow day because, as you told me, you're already closed up for yep. tomorrow. I definitely will. I have yet to find out what my school district's doing, but that's a story for another day. This is your boy, Trav, and you're listening to the HV Pucks podcast. Thanks again, Chase. Yep. Have a good one. You too.